I don't know what you're planning to say. But please, don't say anything that will break my heart, please. I've come to tell you that I cannot bear the pains anymore. I've decided to relocate to Unubi, my mother's place. Maybe stay there until the wound gets healed. I cannot watch you marry another. And I cannot stop you either. You always be my heart. Ruby, why are you doing this? Why are you giving up without a fight? We cannot fight the one already named the king. We cannot. I have decided to allow you to concentrate. My love. Happiness may elude you for some time. But with time. You will overcome it. Okay? I always love you. You always be my heart. Please stop crying. If the eyes can see, if the ears can hear, if I will know you. Hello? Last night was not doing all the things I want. Boss, and don't let the go. Oh, I need a lap. Believe me, I'm not going to say that we can work with each other. Someone will come home with each other. Oh, you will. Runa chugo kichelugo wet manya nzuniru chugo kichelugo manya nzu chikelugo kichelugo manya nzu isi bolugo yetu I hereby crown you as a Biozo of Anenugu. By this coronation, you are the sole custodian of the offer of Anenugu. This throne and the entire palace is yours. Whatever you say is final until you join your ancestors. Oh, Chihue! As soon as I fucking did that one, I can't just fuck you, just fuck. Can't fuck. I crown you the Lord of an enemy.
Perfectly fine, and if you say so, you know, I'm so happy with your marriage to my son. My daughter, I want you to put on what we have become the royal family of an Enugu kingdom. Don't you think the gods have a hand in this? <laughs> I think so, Nick. You are not just the great warrior of this kingdom, but you are also a great seer. I have called you here to ask, to find out if anything has changed. By the gods, my king, nothing has changed. Ombuze? Oh. Johannes. A man appeared to me in my dream last night and told me. that a very dangerous charm was conjured and buried somewhere in this land by the former king. And that this charm was imported from Igala land. He also told me that if we do not do something immediately to demystify the power of that charm, that the resulting effect will be quite terrifying. And I ask you again, Umbuze, again, not just as a warrior of this great kingdom, but as one who's never lost any battle and as one who has been blessed by the gods with the gift of seeing, Umbuze, tell me what this man told me in my dream. Is it true? The previous king is Onaga. 
planted a charm somewhere. The purpose of the charm is to destroy a new one who emerges, the king, if not his son or anyone from his lineage. But that should not bother you. You are not his son. You are not from his lineage. But you are finally the king. By the verdict of the gods, nothing shall happen to you. However, we must do something. We must find the charm. We cannot sit back and rest on our oars. What do we do, Jose? Do you know where this charm is buried? We can find it, my king. Without a fight. Was she right? Did I surrender my woman without a fight? This is it, Your Majesty. Because of my ancestors. What is this? Who was this man in my dream? He could be one of the ancestors coming to save you from a planned danger. It will not be a bad idea if you kill a ram to this ancestor. I agree with you, Mbuse. Immediately we destroy this charm. We shall call everyone together to celebrate that ancestor that took the initiative to come one day. Uh, Mbuse, you said that we shall kill a ram. Yes, Your Majesty. We'll make it a cow. Ha! I go Asna, one for our wap, or come up with the Naka, or not the Nikola, or why? Mbano, eh? What do you You better come out of this mood of yours soon. It's not going to help you. Our daughter is now the queen of this great kingdom. And we are the parents. You should be happy. Is that all you care about? What else? Will I allow to apply my thoughts? Our daughter is now the queen in that converted palace. And we are the pet. You know the implication. Very soon we will be partakers in the sharing of the revenue of this great kingdom. 
do you even care to know if our daughter is happy in that marriage or not? Do you care? Why not? She should be happy now. Mm. Why wouldn't she be happy? Oh, you think it's easy to become the queen of this great land? No. She should be happy. Ah, I'm so disappointed to finally know the kind of woman I married to. Yes. You mean your daughter's happiness means nothing to you at all? I'm ashamed of you. Ashamed of me? Of course her daughter should be happy. Okay, that she's not happy today does not mean she will not be happy tomorrow. Do you, do you even think that it's, it's easy? Eh? It's not easy to become the queen of this great land. You should realize that. Trust me, Okwe is going to be happy at the end of the day. But don't forget the sharing of this revenue I'm talking about. Mama Queen. That's all I am. <laughs> We cannot fight the one already named the king. We cannot. I have decided to allow you concentrate. My love. Happiness may elude you for some time, but with time, you will overcome it. Okay? I always love you. <laughs> you always be my heart. I have not overcome it, as he said, for happiness still eludes me. What am I going to do? Listen to me. What has happened has happened. If you like, think from now to tomorrow. Trust me, nothing will change. You don't understand. You don't. Obiozo broke my heart. Is Obiozo is the man we are talking about? I don't care. I'm heartbroken here. Why is your heart broken? To the best of my knowledge, he never gave anyone the pressure that he is committed. So. Why is your heart broken? I am the one who is heartbroken. Because I have been the one who he cared for. Hmm. But I lost him regardless of all my efforts. Hmm. 
I saw this coming. I saw it coming, but I never wanted to say anything about it. Because if I do, you both will see me as an enemy of progress. So, I decided to keep to myself. Um, see, you, you both should listen to me. What has happened has happened. The only thing I can say here is, you just calm down, eh? Be happy again, friends, like we used to. Mm -hmm. oh? am, am I not fine anymore? No, I'm not fine Check in, check out. My elders, Mbuze here he is indeed a great seer. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. <laughs> so that was his on that guy's intention. <laughs> And the gods, it didn't work for him. But uh, who exactly is this ancestor that appeared to our king in his dream? A benevolent ancestor, if you ask me. I think we should do what the king suggested. Kill a cow for him. So that other ancestors will be encouraged to come to us with vital information such as this. I agree. But it's still strange to me that Ezra Naga will plan this level of evil against our king. Very strange. I agree. But um, what is important is that through the gifts of the gods in the life of Mbuze here, um, his evil plans have been thwarted. <laughs> uh, nothing will happen to an Enugu. Nothing will happen to the throne. You said, is that what uh, my orders, as you all know, um, Buzehia is the head guy of the kingdom. But I want to make it official that he is now the head seer in the king's court. <laughs> Thank you, my elders. The gods have given us a good king, and we all have the duty to make his reign glorious. Hello. Um, Ichi Okwana Aswanya, you have been unusually quiet. Oh, if a man. Or is it that um, you have not been listening to all that we have been saying here? Before you say anything, let me quickly remind you that I am no longer the Obiozo that you used to know. I am now the crown king of an Enugu. Oh, yes. yes. Bwah, bwah. Oh, cool, man. Oh, yes, and I never said you are not. I wouldn't know why you have to single me out. For obvious reasons. Enough, Shokwana Asaya. Why can't you show some respect to our king? Your king. Okay. Our okay. king. Uh, do you know what? I am done with this meeting. Huh? When you finally kill the cow, send my she across to me. Can you hear him? He's interested in the cow. I'm not interested in the king, in our king that is providing the cow. Oh, is he not daydreaming? Your Majesty, my elders in council, let me advise. At this point in time, we all have to fight with our brain. Let us not play into his hands. Let us not allow ourselves to be distracted by this. Hey. My daughter, it is okay. <laughs> stop crying. Stop, stop. <laughs> but you should know that that is the right thing to do. He's your husband, remember? And both of you have to make children. Oh, stop, 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 stop. It's okay. Don't cry. Crying is not going to do you any good. Rather, it will cause a lot of headache for you. Oh? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's the right thing to do.
evil son. Nemezi. Ogini, what is it? Why are you always angry? Oh, you know I'm always angry. And I guess you have come here to make me angry the more. I will take your rudeness for love. Isigini. Mesoma. Ibu Soma. You see, Meso, you know I love you. I love you, see, from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Nemezi, you came to my father's house to tell me that you love me. <laughs> yes, I love you. You came to my father's house to tell me that you love me. Nemezi, you are not afraid. You came here to tell me this rubbish. Hey! So I the abuse that I have been waiting for all my life to tell me about love. He never told me about love, let alone married me. He did not marry me. Oh. He was not married to Okuwe. Uh, and uh, you are here telling me about love. So, okay, why are you shouting? He said, this cold son of a cold man of an enuku. Come here to preach love to me. And the abuse. Don't even ask me. Oh, yeah, but you are the major part of my problem. You are the reason I am this way in this life. Your friend of yours, you could not talk him into marrying me, your sister. You allowed him to go and marry Okukwe. And you're here asking me what the problem is. Please do not ask me. You are the reason of my problem. You are the reason I am like this. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Go to Poland. Because in my next life, I do not want to be a Yabuchi's sister. I don't want to know Yabuchi. I do not want to know anymore. Hey. You are gradually going mad. How do I explain to Miss Oma that marriage is not my force? How? Eh? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm ashamed of what I've done to you. But I know, I know it was wrong. I know I should have, you know, had my way with you that way. Maybe sometimes, you know, I just get too excited. I just want you all with me and all in, I'm all into you. I'm, I'm sorry. I promise you next time I'll be gentle. Give you my word, darling. I need you to please forgive me. Look around you, sweetheart. The palace is quiet without your smile. You're not talking to me, skin. I'll do right by you. Okay. I will treat you nicely like I promised you before we got married. I want to be your king, the one that puts a smile on your face. Huh? I love you. Now and always. If anyone had told me that Obiozo would do this to me, I wouldn't have believed it. Eh? He never even acted like there was someone else. Hi. <sighs> That's to tell you that men are unpredictable. Especially the ones that are destined to be king. They can kill and nobody will know. After all my expectations, eh? it is still like a dream to me. Eh? And I better wake up from this dream. Oh. I better wake up. It has happened, my dear friend. But that doesn't mean you should lose hope on getting another man. Tell me, who do you compare with your to? Who? It doesn't matter. Eh? It doesn't matter. All I know is that it's not the end of road for you. Look at him, Nicole. You have all it takes. The one who values you will locate you one day and he will come begging. I like the sound of that. He will come begging. 
person and that's exactly the kind of man I want. Someone who will always beg me for things. And that is the kind of man you want. Forget about his love and his heartbreak. And focus on the next man. Nothing happened, Your Majesty. You cannot say nothing happened. We need answers, and that is why we are all seated here. Mbuzi, what exactly do you mean? Huh? Nothing happened to your missing guy, Your Majesty. He ordered her to torture for someone from there promising a job that would give him more money. Is that not greed? Huh? You see, uh, if he wanted a raise, he should have just, you know, told, but regardless, um, let's be thankful to the gods that he's alive. Because yes, 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 yes. some faction of the community would have um, suggested that I used him for something. Uh, I mean, how else do we explain that he goes missing barely one month after I become king? Uh, <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not even bothered about what our people will always think. I am bothered about it, can I? Why would he do such a thing without telling anyone, not even his fellow guards? Uh, oh no, I've always known that man, that young man, as someone who could do such a thing. Is that so? Yes! Mm. Well. Regardless, we are thankful to the gods, he's alive. Uh, and um, Buse, thank you. You're indeed my backbone. And I shall reward you. Huh? <laughs> Your Majesty, you mustn't reward me. I'm only exercising my gift. Something worries you. I can see it. It's all over you. You look worried. You look bothered. I just want to know what it is. I want to know what it's about. Nothing. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. You look worried. You look troubled. I just want to know what it is. I, I, tell me. Tell me. What I is it? Stand. I said I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you telling me the truth? Yes. So you have also noticed it, Mom? Yes, I have, my son. She's been acting kind of weird lately. And she would always claim to be fine whenever I ask. Same thing she tells me. Every time I ask, she tells me, my king, I'm fine. Everything is okay. Mom, but I know everything is not okay. I know there is a problem somewhere. I just can't place it, but I know there is a problem. You know? I don't know what else to do. I don't know what to do to get her to speak. Because there is a problem. Something is wrong with Okugwe. And I really don't want to force her into doing anything. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't even need to force her. You are the king and the one who holds the offer of your name. You can compel anyone to give you any information in sake. You can compel her to talk. Because I know that something is not right somewhere. 
Onyechi, you are still on this. You've not done anything. Are you okay? Mama, I'm okay. Mama, I'm not okay. Ha! Kegu and Kegu, I'm okay. I'm, I'm not okay. What happened? Guam. Mama, it's about the king. What about the king? I don't know why he will finally settle for Goku. Look at this girl. So you are here thinking about the king and his wife. Hmm? It's been a month now. Mama, I know. But the moment won't let me be. Onye, I have warned you to stay away from that family. That rejected you, Onye. Don't provoke me, oh. Biawa takila pasuko na mi well. I'm going out. If you like, you can stay here and keep preparing this till I meet you here. If I meet you here, you get it out with me. Kuruko amnaka, Gambia. I gave him my heart, and he turned me down. Did they ever know peace? Come on now, that's not struggle. Huh? How long are we going to be struggling this way? You know I want you. Mm -hmm. Your Highness. Yes, what? I am not in the mood. Ah, uh, no. You, you would have to be in the mood tonight. Eh? I, I, I have been waiting. I'm in the mood. I'm really in the mood. I'm sorry, but yeah. I'm not just in the mood. When are you in the mood? Stop. Get it alone. Come on. Why, why are you like this? He said I'm not in the mood. But I'm your husband. You can't tell your husband you're not in the mood. I'm my wife now. Come on. He said I'm not in the mood. Mm -hmm. I'll take it easy. Mm -hmm. Come on. I'm not in the mood. I'm not You're hurting me. Okay, 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 okay. me. Okay, okay. okay I'll, I'll, I'll be gentle. I'll be gentle. Eh? I'll be gentle. Please. Mama, um. <laughs> why is he always doing this? I have lost count of number of times he has raped me. My daughter, how can you say that a man raped his wife? It's not possible now. Huh? It's not. He does it all the time, Nene. He does it all the time. When a woman says she's not in the mood, is that not supposed to be obeyed? My daughter, I am sorry you feel that way. Huh? I am sorry. Both of you need children. Huh? You need children. And there's no other way to go about it than that. Maybe this is the reason you have not conceived. Because it is not coming from your heart. Learn to be on the same page with your husband. It helps. It's your corner, son. It's your Oku Anna Aswanya, you are provoking me. Do you hear me? Mind you, I am your king. You are provoking me. I don't know why the king is angry. What have I said? I know why I am tolerating your excess. Do not see my tolerance as weakness. I don't understand. Well, too many things can happen. Uh, but I'm not going to allow anybody to intimidate me. Ichie, do you want me to kill you? Based on what he has done and the insulting words he has used on our way, if he is killed, he 
his blood will be on his head. Uh -huh. no, the gods will not allow anybody to kill me because I am saying the truth. Let, let me repeat what I said that caused the, this problem. Ofufwe is not a whale. For she has not received the sword of the whales from the departed queens of this kingdom. The immediate past queen has not defined her position by confirming her as a queen, by giving her the sword of the queens. That is our tradition? Or are we now claiming that we don't know our tradition? She is a queen. It's it. My wife is a queen. For I married her properly. Why has she not received the sword of the queens from the previous queens if you might have properly like you said? <laughs> we have to be very careful. The departed mother of this kingdom, they have not defined her position as a queen. They have not given her the sword of the queen. And as far as I am concerned, the Kukwe is not a queen. Oh no, we, you should be able to speak out. You know your problem. What? Okwara oh, Saya. Your problem is that you are insanely enslaved to some pieces of anachronistic tradition. Oh. Wake up from your slumber. We've come a long way. Come back. Oh no, why you the one speaking? Your Majesty, I may not know much about our tradition, but I have a reason to believe that man is right. I married the Kukwe properly, huh? on your butchery. I married her properly. I don't understand why all of this is happening. Well, I'm of the opinion that you give her some time. I'm sure the late queen will soon decide her fate by appearing to give her the all-important sword. You think so? Yes, I, I think so. Uh, if that man is certain that the departed queens are the ones saddled with the responsibility of giving the sword to the new queen, then all we have to do is to sit back and wait, believing that they will give it to her. How is she, by the way? Mm -hmm. I can't even tell. I don't understand. One of the maids ran to me a couple of days ago and told me that she ran out of the palace one afternoon, scared, screaming, in fear. And the problem I have is that Okukwe will not tell you anything. You ask her, she tells you she's all right. You scare me with this piece of information. And why are you not doing something about it? What can I do? What can I do? She won't speak. You ask her, are you okay? She'll tell you everything is fine, but I can see her that she's not fine. Using you. Eh? What is funny about what I said? Of course it is funny. Oyebuchi, it is funny. Your friend Obiozo left me and went and married the wrong woman. What did you expect? No. Uh, what were you expecting? Or, or should I even ask? What was he expecting? Miss Oma, mm? you know what? Mm. Sometimes I find it very difficult to understand you. I know why that is. Because I am the first and last of my kind. People have to come up to my level before they can understand me. I just told you what the king told me about his wife. And you're here talking nonsense. Mm. Eh? 
Mm. To you, my brother, I am talking nonsense. Because we both live here together. But to those that know, they will understand that I am making a whole lot of sense. When a man marries the wrong woman, his life becomes wrong right from that day. Or oh, don't you know it? Listen, continue to undermine me. But I know, as well as you know, that I am miles ahead of the one he married. I don't know why I told you this. He confided in me as a friend. I told you as a sister. Don't go out there to broadcast it. Hi, one name. There are so many things you can think of when it comes to meso. When it comes to gossip, no. My time is too precious to engage in gossip. No, give me some credit. Oh? Mom, I'm quite concerned about the Queen receiving this award. I am. But I think I am more concerned about her getting pregnant. You know, giving me a child. I am positive that if she goes ahead to give me a child, a male child precisely, she will still receive the sword. Nothing stops it. Just like um, what I told her, I let her know that she has not taken in because she does not put her mind to it. My point exactly, Mom. What do we need to do to get her to that point? She needs to put her mind to it. Son, I have to be very blunt with you here. Make love to your wife. You don't force her to. You have to pet your wife, love her. <laughs> and she will definitely relax. Mom, do you not think that I know these things and apply them? I have been trying. I have been doing my best. But she's quite rigid, I must tell you, mother. She tells you she's not in the mood, she insists she doesn't want to do it, you know. She comes up with every and any excuse to just, you know, shy away from it. Son, if she says she's not in the mood, then put her in the mood. How? Listen, I am a woman, I know what I'm talking about. You have to pet her. You have to show her so much love and care. You have to take it easy with her. And she will relax. Sweet words soften every heart. True. Good. And that is why I have tried everything in the books. But Okukwe is not yielding. And I'm beginning to think that she likes it the way we've been having it. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No woman likes to do something against her will, especially lovemaking. You wouldn't believe that she called it rape. Yes. You have to be easy. <laughs> you have to take it easy with her. What if I try and it doesn't work? It will surely work. Trust me, I'm a woman. Baby. you to know that it comes from the deepest part of my heart because I really do. I love you so much. But I, I need you to bear with me. Right? I, I act the way I act sometimes. That's because I hunger for you, baby. Look at you and I just want to be all over you, darling. For you're my wife. I want you to be the mother of all my children. I don't want to have reasons to look elsewhere. I don't want a second wife. I just want you, baby. Please. 
peace. Huh? Listen, I, 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 I know how. I know how things have been around here lately. But I want you and I to learn to live in peace as man and wife. Huh? I, I know I hurt you sometimes, especially when I take you against your wish. I, I know it breaks your heart. I hate to hurt you, baby. I hate, I hate to see you cry. It's just that I can't. No, I, I just want you. So please, darling, can you can you just you know let go of yourself for me? You know, just let me be your husband. Let me, you know, just you know, just. Uh, Let me take charge of your body, baby. Let me make you feel like a woman. Let me love you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm huh? sorry, I'm sorry, Majesty. What, what are you sorry about? You, you haven't done anything wrong now, have you? I'm sorry, but... What? I, I, I can't give you what you're asking. What do you mean you can't give me what I'm asking for? Okukwe, you're my wife. Huh? No, talk to me. I, I, I want to know why you cannot, you know, let me, you know, possess what is rightfully mine. You know, what do you mean? You, you can't give me what I'm asking for. No, speak to me, Okukwe. I want to know. You, what? No, I am saying that I want you. I'm saying that you're my wife. You uh, what? Please. Please what? Please what? I want you. Do you not want me? No, you shouldn't be sorry. Alright? You should be enjoying the moment. You can't tell me that you're sorry. Ah! For a new day. Thank you, the central deity. <sighs> Greetings, Ezemo. My queen. What are you doing here? Disappeared without a trace? I'm asking you questions. If you stand in there, what are your responsibilities? Here! Apologies, Your Majesty. We can't tell her and when she left the palace. Oh, Your Majesty, she took us on our ways. She took the both of you on our ways? Yes, Your Majesty. Huh? <laughs> Begin to pray. Do you hear me? Begin to pray very hard to the cause. Nothing happens to my wife and I find. Ah, else I will hold the both of you responsible. Do you hear me? Yes, Your Majesty. Is it that she did not tell any of you where she was going? No, no, she did not. No such thing there. She didn't tell us anything. Or oh, she told you not to tell when you're asked. No, no. no.
I never believed that a day would come when I would have to ask you to look into my personal affairs and begin to find my wife. But as it stands, the queen of Anenugu is missing. We are seated here because we need answers. I, your king, I need your help. Please look into the horn and tell me what you see. What did you see? It was a speak. Your Majesty, I can't see a thing. Was they look again? You would see something. Huh? What have you seen? I'm as confused as you are. But this has never happened. No, Namuse. We've always known you to be a great seer with the gift of the gods. Exactly. And you have been seen for the king ever since then. Namuse. Not now. Not today. You cannot let me down now. Huh? Okay. Could you just look again one more time? I am positive. I trust you. Eh? My wife cannot just get missing without a trace. It is not possible. Eh? Yes. Your Majesty, why don't we give her some hand and see if she can record? Yes, I will not just hear Ah, Che, you don't know my wife. Uh, Okukwe would not just leave this palace like that. Something is attached to this. I can't feel it. Ah, Mbuze. Your Majesty. What do I do? I suggest we send for the chief priest. I believe he has something to say. Ezemo, you heard me right. I am no longer interested in marrying. I believe you are the right person to talk to. That's why I came here. And also to inform you that henceforth, I'll be staying here with you. Honestly, my queen, I don't understand you. I am not a queen. I have never been a queen. Don't say this. Do not say this. The king found you for himself. Declared you his wife. You are well. The elders were there when Ono crowned you queen of Anengu. Is there more? Crowning someone a queen is different from the person actually being a queen. I was crowned a queen quite all right. But I am not a queen. And I have come to the end of that infamous era in my life. I came to you as the chief priest of my land to stay with you. Are you going to send me away? You and your husband are having problems. But it is normal, it is expected. With time, you get rid of it. It will become over. So, I would like you to go back to your husband and give me some time to intervene. I'm sorry, Ezemo. My mind is made up. I came straight to you, not even to my parents. Because I know that my husband could attempt to kill me. How could you say that? How would a king kill his wife? <laughs> Ezemo, you may dismiss it. 
but it's a real threat. That is why I have come to surrender to you and by extension to the deity of our land. Are you prepared to say this before the staff of the central deity of Anenu? I am prepared. Oh, where you be, I summoned you here because Umbuze, the king's seer, could not see anything. But he saw something, though, which is the fact that you know something. And so he appealed to me and the others to invite you here. So I ask you, where you? Where is my wife? And what is happening to her? My king, the queen is not missing. She only abdicated her position as the queen. She what? You heard me right, your majesty. She has stopped being your wife. And right now, she is under the protection of the staff of the central deity of Anenu. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is ridiculous. So, as I speak to you right now, Your Majesty, she is in my place. Yeah. She's at, at your place, doing what exactly? I mean, how? Why? I've never had such a thing before. What could she be doing in your place? Huh? What can she be in your place? I said it. Huh? <laughs> this woman has another man somewhere. <laughs> and if you will tell me who that man is and where he is. Your Majesty, she has no such a man in her life. For she has sworn on the sacredness of the staff of the central deity of Anenugu. All she told me is that she walked out on you simply because there is a spirit in this palace that torments her life. There's a spirit here that torments her. What spirit? It is what it is, ma'am. It is what it is. What other proof do we need to confirm that she's run off with a different man? She couldn't even get pregnant here. She couldn't even give me a child. And now she's with, with a different man? My son. She ran to the chief priest. You even confirmed what the man said. That she swore on the offer of the central deity of an Enugu kingdom. Oh, please, please, spare me on that, please. Oh, why, why do you keep defending this woman? Son, I am not defending her. I am speaking of a woman I know very well. You know her? <laughs> you think you know her? Listen, I see. Son. Listen, son, I will advise you to go to Wayfield Ramadanamu's place and talk to her. Please don't say no. Please don't say no. <sighs> Great news, wonderful, beautiful news. I mean, this is the happiest news I've ever had. Oh, don't misunderstand me, my brother. I am just so happy. Hey, can you tell me exactly why you're happy? I am happy. I'm happy because your friend of yours is finally going to look at me now as his queen. Something he was supposed to do way before now. I was only keeping this privilege for him because he's your friend. Oh. He, he was married. One stupid possessed Okukwe that yeah, could yeah, not yeah, even yeah. give him a child. Mr. Oma, I won't be a party to that. Don't cast aspersions on a woman who already surrendered to the central deity of Anenu. Ah. Humans don't mess with deities. A dear one must hear What about up here? Oh, you betray your guinea. Must you always find a way to kill joy? I was not talking about the deity. Why are you smuggling the deity into this world? I'm talking about Okukwe. Eh? This is not my...
my mouth? Don't I have the full right to use it as, as, as much as I want and how it pleases me? I'm talking about that possession. Uh, I You're talking don't talk about her like that. I won't be a party to it. Oh, that's a bad deal. But please, oh, let me tell you, in all sincerity of heart, I am believing that you will not disappoint me this time, Monyebuchi. I don't understand. What do you mean? Can you see? Can you say you don't understand? Don't pretend like you don't understand what I'm talking about. Don't disappoint me. Don't. This is a great opportunity for me to achieve what I once lost. You will never cease to amaze me, Chizoba. Didn't you hear the said a particular spirit tormented her life all the while she lived in the palace? How is that my business? Probably the spirit knows that she was not the queen of this kingdom. That was why the spirit tormented her. Me, I am the queen of this kingdom. Chizoba, you can go ahead and have the king all to yourself. I am no longer interested. Wait, did I just hear you say that? Yes, you did. For whatever that will make your queen run from the palace must be something serious. I was prepared to be your queen, but I wasn't prepared to die. Hmm. I am so glad to hear you say this. You are absolutely correct, my dear. Mm -hmm. She has finally given up. I know you can never compete with me. She's a boy that shines brighter than the morning star. <laughs> Who can dare me? Jesus. <laughs> you have not still said anything. I thought I've told you already. Huh? Eh? Did you tell me? I am no longer interested. Did you really mean what you just said? Of course, Suju. Eh? The queen ran from the palace because she was tormented by an evil spirit. Who knows what the spirit could be? Eh? To me, that's a bad development. And that has made me lose interest. Nkole. I can't believe you. You have to believe it too. Eh? Don't you think that this is the best time for you to try your luck? And see if you could win the king and become the queen like you always wished. Would you? You can go and try your luck. But as for me, I am no longer interested. Eh? My life is too precious for me. I don't want to die young. Uh -uh. Who did I offend? None. What did we do to Kukwe that made her brought this level of shame to our family? Ugoma, I totally disagree with you on that. You disagree with me? Meaning what? Okukwe has not brought any shame to us. We must wait for her to hear from her. Eh? She had already submitted herself under the protection of the central deity of Anenugu. And it remains a sacrilege for anyone to castigate her without being sure. What is wrong with you? Okukwe. Get it for. Mama. Mama, please. Please, I beg you in the name of God. I want you to reason with me on this. I have not moved in my spirit to marry Obiozo. If I finally do so, I married him against my wish. Mama, please. See reasons oh, with me, please. Whatever spirit that is in you here, that is making you to choose to marry a 20, ordinary chemist man, only motorcycle, as against the king to be of this great kingdom, the king that will inherit the palace, then he will be in charge of all the revenue in this kingdom. It's a backward spirit. And Ugoma will jump and pass the spirit. I'll, I say no to it. See, stop that. You are going to be the queen. Mama, you don't understand. There's no spirit inside me. <laughs> I'm talking of intention as a woman. It is not driving me towards Obiozo. Whether internal or external, you don't have a choice here. What I am sure is that you are going to marry Obiozo. Igabo Queen. 
aga ma bu na ekwe ni oge igwe o ihe nka bu nko bu ni na ko gbasaru ke for whatever backward never and what exactly is your point my point is that okukwe left the king because she doesn't love him ugoma what is wrong with you what is wrong with you you heard our daughter said a spirit tormented her while she was in the palace. Did you miss that part or what? Did you think? I am confused. You are more than confused. Honestly, Nani, I am getting more confused on daily basis. Who have we offended? What useless spirit will go and chase my daughter away from that great palace? Huh? Eh? No, mba. Is it possible that she has another man like I think? But she, she swore on the staff of the central deity that she wouldn't dare to do such. Or does it mean that she also lied to the deity? A spirit tormented her life. Is that also true? What spirit? What spirit could that be? Ah, <laughs> I need to see her. I humble myself before the king. May you reign forever. Mess or the sister to your friend is here to see you. Should I let her in? Let her come. Yes, Greetings, my amiable king. I am sure you make a glorious reign. Miss Oma, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Why have you come? Are you here to see me on your own or you are here because your brother asked you to come see me? Can I at least sit? <laughs> well, I am here on my own account. And that is because I have missed you. Really? Yes, really. Hmm. You look bored. Is it, is it anything I can handle? Is there something I can do? I'm very fine, Miss Oma. I, I understand you perfectly. But just so you know, if there's any way I can help, I'll be glad to help. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If need be, I'll let you. <laughs> sure. And knowing that I am a very important guest here, I'm thinking that you have them entertain me. It's me. You've not seen a ghost. It's me. I missed you. Uh, how, how come? How, how? I mean... I heard all that happened. The cut is short. That's the reason I had to come back to Anenubo. I've missed you. Please sit down. 
We have a lot of catching up to do. I don't even know how to start. 